Good afternoon, YTPC. We're back at Emerson Southern Forged, and today we're going to show a little leaf preparation and shredding. Um, I wanted to show you all the different varieties of tobacco that come in, how they come in, a little bit about how they're packaged, um, and then we can go from there, show you how I prepare them and, and what comes next. So the uh, first leaf that's up, this is Blind Monkey Wrapper. It's from Total Leaf. It comes in a larger package. Uh, the leaves are unbroken. Uh, this has a wonderful oil content to it. Uh, I typically do not like to hydrate this, um, so I don't. Uh, this is Virginia uh, Red Leaf. It's flu cured. This is from Whole Leaf, and it comes in a package like this. It's a little folded over, and once I open this, because I'll do the Virginia uh, to show you what it looks like in prepping. Uh, St. James Perique, uh, this is from Whole Leaf as well, comes in a very small package, it's all very compressed. I don't want to open up all the packages to show you how all of them uh, come in, uh, or at least how we I prep all of them. I thought I'd do the Virginias because more people like Virginia. And then this is a bag of Bosma from Leaf Only. Uh, as you can tell, the leaves are much smaller on the Orientals. Uh, you can see that there's a little more breakage in it. Uh, this is one of the tougher ones to work with just because the pieces get very small the farther down into the bag you get. And it's just, it's a little more difficult and time consuming. And this one definitely has to be rehydrated because it's dry as a bone. And then the one that I dislike the most to shred is Latakia. And a package of Latakia comes like this. Um and then you take it out and shred it. There's stems. It's very hard to work with because it, of the way it's manufactured, the, the way that they make Latakia, you're gonna get carbon all over yourself. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But those are, you know, so we had tobacco. I don't have any burley at the moment in waiting to be shred, uh, but it's very similar to how the Virginias and the Blind Monkey wrapper come in. So let's go ahead and get started with the Virginia. You notice I have a large cutting board that I use. It just gives me a little advantage because it raises it up a little bit. Uh, and then I cover it with wax paper um, so that I don't get, you know, thread all over everywhere. And I like to use wax paper. It makes my life simple and easy. In case any spills over onto the cutting board, you know, it doesn't get contaminated with anything. We'll put the rubber gloves on. And I have a specialty set of shears just for uh, trimming tobacco. Um, and it's just because I don't want it to use it for anything else. Okay, so let's take a leaf out. Now there's going to be some jerky camera movements here in a little bit simply because I'm going to spin it around. Um, my desk here in Tiny House Living has a pull-out uh, tray table uh, the, where I use to shred so I can sit at my desk um, and keep it reasonably compact and the way I like to do things. So on the Virginias, what I like to do is you open the leaf up a little bit and see what you've got. And you can see this leaf is, it's got a couple of holes in it. It's not perfect. Um, and what I like to do is just take the shears and just start cutting along the main stem. Now, some people, I mean, if, if you're really pressed for time, you can just rip it off. And then what I do is I take it and cut it into about four inch slices. Uh, it makes it a little easier to get through the press. You don't get it uh, long and stringy. And then here are some of the secondary, like the capillary stems. And these are too big to go through the, the manual budger shredder that I use. By the way, someday I'll tell the story of customer service in one of the tobacco houses and how not to respond to your customer that bought one that had a flaw. Um, so here we've got it cut down. And then I take it and set it in a bowl. So I go through all the leaves and do this process and I'll do another one just so that you can see. And as you can see here, these smaller stems are fine. This leaf doesn't have uh, a ton of the larger 
secondary stems. These will go through uh, no problem at all. And we just trim this off. I hope everybody can see this okay. Looks like we're doing all right. We haven't hurt anyone or hurt myself. And the reason why I cut them into four inch pieces, when you see when we start shredding, it makes it a lot easier to get the right length of, uh, you don't want the piece to be too long uh, because then it gets stringy. You've seen me fight uh, Latakia, or I'm sorry, Perique, uh, because I cut those too long. So it's long cut Perique unintentionally by my, on my part, but okay. So we've got that. And I'll trim that down to about four inch pieces. And I'll put those in the bowl. And I have a trash can underneath my desk to keep the stems. Now, you know, when you're dealing with whole leaves, not every leaf is going to be perfect. You're going to get some duds. It's okay. And here I'm just pulling this one off. And that's an acceptable method as well. You know, everybody does it their own way. And I'm not trying to tell you that there's a right way or a wrong way. This is just the way that I do it. That makes it more convenient for me. And all these little pieces that are on there, we can pull those off and those certainly make, make it a little bit more manageable. All right, so we've got that. Now we're going to make an incredibly awkward camera turn. Get you over here, looking down at the shredder. And again, I've got the, let's see if I can pull that back just a little bit. So now we're looking down at the shredder, and I'm moving, and as you watch, drop it in, and you can see the pieces coming out. And you'll notice on this that I'm using an eight millimeter shredder. Uh, I like the cut that you get with eight. I have a one millimeter too. It just depends on what tobacco I'm doing. And I will tell you, if you fold it in half, like this. So you take the four inch piece and fold it in half. You'll get a much, <laughs> you'll also cut your glove. There you go. You'll also cut your glove. And you can start to see, you know, we, we did two leaves. I've, I've run a couple of pieces through now. And this is basically what it is. And it takes, you know, a few minutes to get through the whole bag of leaf. And if you see a stem that comes out when you're when you're shredding, just pull it out and throw it away. Uh, it doesn't do any benefit. Now this, I think, has an excellent moisture content. Uh, feeling how supple the leaves are. This will probably not get hydrated uh, simply because I'm happy with the moisture content in it. And that's kind of surprising for a fluke here in Virginia. Um, typically they come in a little drier and you have to rehydrate them, but of late, they've come in very, very well. So the budget shredder that I'm using, you can get them at leaf only and whole leaf and they're anywhere from 39 to $45. There are the big electric shredders that you can get. Uh, I don't, I, I haven't got one of those yet because I like to manage the process as I'm, I'm going through. I like to be able to smell uh, the leaves as I'm doing each one. So it gives me a little better feel for how the tobacco is going to behave in the pipe. And that is basically part of two leaves shredding. So add rinse repeat until done and then jar it up. And as you may or may not know, um, I use the extra large 64 ounce ball jars to store all of my tobacco in. So when I get a pound in, uh, a pound fits very comfortably in the 64 ounce ball jar. And that's what I use to store it. So I really didn't want to sit here and shred. Um, typically, it takes me two hours to go through a pound, especially of the Virginias. Uh, Bosma's not as bad. I can get through the Periques very, very quickly. Uh, you know, you just cut those into smaller sections, run it through. But because of the moisture level in the Perique, you typically have to stop at least once to clean uh, the press out because you can see how the press has stayed relatively clean through this. With the Perique, you'll get um, some of the leaves will stick inside of the pins or in, in the grooves here. 
and it will gum up and you won't get as fine a cut. So you have to stop, clean it and do all that fun stuff. So there we go. That's shredding. That's how I get whole leaf. That's what I do with it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the content, please like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you'd like to chat with me about anything, please contact, you know, just leave a comment below. Or you can email me at emersonsouthern at yahoo.com. Or you can connect with me on Instagram at Emerson Southern Forge. Man, I can almost say my name. Pretty good. Thank you all so much for joining me. I, I appreciate your continued, your continued support and encouragement. We'll have a new blending video out probably tomorrow for uh, Sigelman Tony from Rhode Island. Came up with a great idea and we put a blend together for him. So I'm excited to do that and we'll chat with you later on. Smoke what you like and don't let anybody tell you different. We'll see you later.